Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into the Real Housewives of Potomac. Let's go. Robin is sitting in the back of this car talking about one and taking up for him way more than he does for himself or for her, right? Nobody insinuated Robin that you were the reason that he got fired. One didn't seem to care that he was the reason that he got fired. And I think she felt real crazy because Wendy like laid that situation out to her so tough that she realizes that Wendy knows what one is going through. And her teeth is clocked. Mia feels really strongly about Lil Bit saying that her husband only talks about people to defend himself. You see all these gestures she's making? Mia, go on, girl, tell it. Okay, I will say this. Like, these are women that want to be of a certain stature, right? Ashley, there are some wonderful places that you could have chosen in Austin. I understand it's a hole in the wall and it's somewhere that they probably go a lot. But these women are dressed to the nines. And you want to take them to a chicken shack? No shade. Shout out to y'all in there in Austin. But come on, girl. So Robin and Lil Bit have declared that they are no longer friends. Because she's going to go up for her husband who was defending them while they were just throwing accusations out of her husband. And she's going to go up for one in all his antics. Right? Because one is the only man who really makes his wife look real crazy. Let's keep going. I think this bingo game is really stupid. Let me know how you feel about it. Because there are some other things they could be doing in Austin. Why is Giselle talking? Giselle wasn't even in the car with them, right? Mia, you misspoke, right? She's not trying to make it about her. She feel a certain way. I don't know why she's crying, though. But Giselle, you weren't even in the car. I would really like for you to be quiet. I really feel like Robin is carrying way more of this burden than one is. Do you feel like that? Because one said he still got enough money to do whatever he needs to do. And he said he's going to be all right. But, I mean, but that's Robin. Okay, take Candace out. Get, pack her up, get her tri cry angles, and get her out. Because she is getting on my nerves. Like, wh what are you crying for? That was last season. L let's go. Let's go. Why is Candace still crying? Like, Robin and Giselle and uh, Mia have left. What is she still crying about? You got to give it to Mia and her reenactments. Her mimicking Candace crying. I love Mia for those things. Karen has turned 60 and Ray is 77. Ray was graduating or about to graduate high school when Karen was born. Just sit there right there so it's clear Giselle and Candace are not friends and Candace and Robin won't be friends now that Giselle has made it clear that she's not going to be friends with her Robin definitely won't be friends with her so that's over uh who else do we have on this show I feel like Mia is afraid if Gordon goes full force and makes it a lawsuit for the five hundred thousand dollars I feel that whatever monies that they have are going to be used for lawyers. And I think Mia is afraid of not having anything. I think that's why she's against the lawsuit. What do you think about that? Is anyone shocked that Robin called Juan to tell him everything that happened? Robin, we knew you were going to do that, right? You probably put a little something on it just to make it seem like you were really taking up for him. And he probably said something like, I don't care. I'm just going to say that's what he said. Well, the kayaking thing was really cute. There was some bonding. Um, but they're about to get ready to go home. I can't wait for that. One, if you had done what you were supposed to do, you wouldn't have to worry about paying medication uh, and not having your insurance and paying full price. You are the reason that you're paying full price. Robin is sitting here on vacation, stressed out about the fact that you got to pay full price. And your reaction is what? Sir, you are the problem. So I don't know how many months they have now because this was filmed whenever, right? But at this point, you got 15 months. You got a year and some change. And one was very blase about it. Oh, we're good. I hope they're good because Robin is going to lose her mind. And that triggered, like, that really set me off. Robin, why, 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 why are you feeding into it? I'm not feeding, I'm not feeding into it, but that. I, like, I, I, I can't listen to this anymore because it's, it's 
like so ridiculous and it's getting blown way out of proportion. I need you to stop feeding. I'm not feeding into it, Warren. I'm trying to. I'm, Listen, brother, this is how you're feeding into it. You're getting emotional for what? Why are you getting emotional? It's not their life. It's our life. I'm not going to let you keep allowing these women get you super emotional. I'm not emotional. I'm not emotional. Bobby, please. I'm, I, I can't listen to you because my skin is crawling right now. Uh -huh. I, I got not one saying he can't listen because his skin is crawling right now. What in the world does that mean? I've never heard anybody say something like that. And then Robin is sitting here crying, right? One does not care, Robin. He only cares why you haven't gotten this insurance so he can get this medicine. You. Not him don't have no job, but he cares why you can't get it until June. He don't care about none of this. You are making his skin crawl. Girl, he is probably on his way to Canada. I've never, this this is ridiculous and disrespectful. Y'all join us tomorrow, me and Here for High Tea, 12 o'clock noon central, 1 o'clock eastern. We're going to talk about Maritime Medicine and the Real Housewives of Potomac. But right now, before I get on Maritime Medicine, I got to go see a Marie from uh, Bell Collective has got back on the internet because she's 38 hot. I'll see y'all later. Bye.